Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. This is the mission director. Go for launch. There is that final mission director. Go. All systems are go for a launch of Falcon 9 and USSF-124. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go 124. Vehicle pitching down range. Headboard D, chamber pressure nominal. for stage separation, which is when the first and second stages will separate, followed by second engine startup, which is when that Merlin vacuum engine of the second stage will start up to boost the payload to low Earth orbit. And then the last event is the boost back burn, where the Falcon 9 first stage will ignite to orient itself to head back to land. Yeah, you can see these events will start in just about 10 seconds here with main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one boost back start up. There you saw and heard the confirmation of a successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, a second engine start, and boost back burn start. You can see great views from the Falcon first stage. The grid fins will be deploying here shortly. And coming up is fairing deployment as well. And as a reminder, we won't see any live views from the second stage today, so we won't see the fairings deploy, but we will get confirmation of their deployment. Fairing separation confirmed. There you heard that call out for successful fairing deployment. Now, coming up next is the end of the boost back burn, which will be happening in just under 10 seconds here. Stage one boost back shutdown. There you heard that confirmation of the shutdown of the boost back burn. That is a good burn of the first stage. Again, you are watching a live webcast for USSF-124, a collaboration, a collaboration between the Space Systems Command, the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, and the U.S. Space Forces Space Development Agency, delivering two prototype satellites to orbit 
as part of the hypersonic and ballistic tracking space sensor program, as well as the SDA's final four tranche zero tracking layer satellites. You can see our grid fins have deployed there, um, and these will help reorient that first stage as it makes its way back down to Earth. And you can see uh, those puffs of gas, they're coming from the attitude control system, and that is nitrogen gas that is coming out. Now today we will be attempting to recover the Falcon 9 first stage back at landing zone 2. And in just a couple minutes, the booster will execute an entry burn followed by a landing burn. Now, both of these burns are meant to slow the booster down rapidly before landing. And if we do have a successful landing today, it will mark the 272nd landing of an orbital class rocket. Now, in order to make its way back down to land for orbit, Falcon 9 does have two more burns to execute. We already performed our boost back burn, so coming up next is the entry burn in just about a minute. And this is where three of the Merlin engines of the first stage will reignite, and this will help slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And then the third and last burn is the landing burn, and this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land back on Earth. You can see those nitrogen cold gas thrusters of our attitude control system along with our grid fins. Now those are hypersonic grid fins and there's four of them around the top of the Falcon first stage. We're coming up on the start of our first stage entry burn. This will be about a 20 second burn starting in just a few seconds. Stage one entry burn. There is the start of our stage one entry burn. This is a three engine burn that's slowing that first stage down. Stage one entry burn shutdown. There is that shutdown. Stage of one FTS has saved. Shutdown of the engine. Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. And those call outs were that the flight termination system has been saved and trajectories are all nominal. Coming up next is our stage one landing burn in just about 30 seconds here as we come back towards the coast of Cape Canaveral. Again, there are four landing legs arranged around Falcon 9 first stage, which will deploy just prior stage to landing. One is transonic. The vehicle is traveling around 900 miles per hour right now, so that landing burn is really going to slow it down. Landing burn. There is the start of that stage one landing burn. Stage two, that's our all guidance. Super cool views of landing zone two approaching quick. Stage one landing like deploy. successfully made the 272nd landing of an orbital class rocket and with that successful confirmation of our booster landing that will bring today's webcast to a close that is not that is cool that was a sonic boom